Are you a fan of Galaxy Ultra Sharp Corners? Well, then it might be bad news for you. Galaxy S25 Ultra is getting round corners this time, unlike the sharp square edges on previous models. Also, we are getting camera design changes on the S25 Ultra too. You may already know some of these features, but there is one thing no one has focused on including you. But first, is S25 Ultra worth purchasing? The answer is, let you decide this. Let's start with the camera changes. It is circulating that S25 Ultra is getting a boosted 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a major upgrade as compared to S24 Ultra's 12 megapixel. However, the primary and zoom cameras, along with those on the S25 and S25 Plus, are likely to stay the same, which may be a letdown for some users. Samsung seems to be working to match some features that Apple has introduced, such as 4K 120 slow motion video, photographic styles, and audio mixing options. Although a few of these features might appear on the S25 Ultra, there's still no official word. Now, if we talk about the design, there are no major changes. Samsung is revamping the camera lens rings with a textured ridge design that resembles the style of the Z Fold 6. That's all we are getting in the camera design upgrade. I am kind of disappointed, but we'll discuss this later. The Galaxy S25 Ultra adopts a more rounded design, moving away from the S24 Ultra's sharper corners for a subtler appearance. Display sizes have also shifted, with the Ultra increasing to 6.9 inches from 6.8 inches. With a slightly larger display thanks to ultra-thin bezels, the S25 Ultra could feature the slimmest bezel design among mainstream phones. The frame has been reduced, making the device narrower, yet the screen itself seems wider. Although it still uses the M13 panel from the S24 Ultra, Samsung has enhanced brightness, viewing angles, and color accuracy. While rivals like the iPhone 16 and Pixel 9 have upgraded to the more efficient M14 panel with a longer lifespan, Samsung has opted to stick with the M13, likely to manage costs. The S25 Ultra boasts 16 GB of RAM, which is a 4 GB boost over the S24 Ultra. This added memory isn't just for looks, it's partly allocated to AI tasks, improving performance and efficiency for a smoother overall experience. The S25 Ultra introduces the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which delivers the biggest performance leap we've seen from a Snapdragon chip. It offers a 45% boost in CPU performance, a 40% improvement in graphics, and 44% more efficiency compared to the S24 Ultra's processor. This new chip supports console-level gaming and faster AI processing, outpacing even Apple's latest chipset. However, there's a possibility that versions of the S25 Ultra outside the US may feature a slightly weaker Exynos 2500 chipset, which could affect performance in regions like Europe and the UK. A major question still remains, will the Galaxy S25 series see a price hike? Currently, the base model is priced at $800, the Plus at $1,000, and the Ultra at $1,300, already quite expensive. However, with the introduction of the new Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset in all three models, which comes at a higher cost compared to previous chips, there's a possibility that the prices could go up. The Galaxy S25 series will be available in four colors, black, blue, gray, and silver. The Ultra model will feature a titanium finish while the base and plus models will come with an aluminum body. Also, S25 Ultra will debut with Samsung's most extensive software update yet, One UI 7. Although the S24 Ultra will also receive One UI 7, the S25 Ultra will offer a smoother and faster performance thanks to its additional RAM and upgraded processor, providing a more refined user experience. So, is the Galaxy S25 Ultra worth purchasing? The answer is no, and here's why. While there are some minor adjustments, such as a slightly updated design and a marginal increase in screen size, they don't bring anything truly new to the table. It's much like how the iPhone has maintained a similar design since the iPhone 11, despite multiple new releases. The S25 Ultra doesn't offer any groundbreaking changes, there's no significant improvement in battery life or overall performance to justify an upgrade. The camera system remains mostly the same, with only small tweaks. It's essentially a slightly upgraded version of the S24 Ultra, rather than a major leap forward. 
If you're already using the S24 Ultra, there's little reason to rush into this one. While we don't have all the details yet, it's possible that Samsung is planning something unexpected, and we may be in for a surprise when the Galaxy S25 Ultra is officially released in January 2025. However, based on what we know so far, it's hard to get excited about the upgrade. So what do you think Samsung should do next? If it were you, would you upgrade from the S24 Ultra to the S25 Ultra when it's released? Honestly, with the limited changes we've seen so far, if it was me, I would not rush to make the switch. But I'm curious, am I the only one feeling underwhelmed by Samsung this year? Or are you feeling the same way too? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, please like and share the video and subscribe for more groundbreaking content and honest thoughts.